Hi viewer, there you are, I can see you. Uh, right, so, a bit late to the beta. Um, couldn't really think of a team for inspiration. I did do one with Villa to start with. Um, couldn't necessarily get into it. So what I want to do one with yourselves is um, load up the top five divisions. Um, what we'll do is have the top and second division from those top five leagues. Uh, nice little thing that I found out on this new one is that you can playable and view only. Love that. Um, and then you can have the lower divisions as still bringing through uh, talent and actually being able to see their results as well, which is good. So if you want to loan out some young players. Um, what I'm going to do is take the game through now. You'll see me on the other side of this uh, load screen. Uh, we'll use the games pick a team for me section. Um, and we'll get the first team who are uh, in Europe from those five leagues. Probably not France, realistically, because uh, I haven't got enough time to be able to topple PSG and uh, I don't have any interest in managing them, mainly because I have a soul. But uh, we'll see what the game picks out for us. So uh, I'll see you all shortly. Right, so we are back with this absolute specimen here. Um, I'm just going to have a little run through the profile and just check these uh, figures here, make sure we've got the right one. And then we'll get into figuring out who our team's going to be. Uh, we'll go through here and we'll get our first team that it gives me, which is in Europe, and then we'll go with that. Take a bit of the choice away from myself and it'd be nice to pick up a team up that I uh, maybe wouldn't choose any other way. So, here we go. So, I'm going to skip through a little bit faster. That's here. Okay, yeah, that's fine. As I mentioned, it's not France. Um, so let's get into it. So we'll uh, leave it there. And uh, we'll reconvene with a look at the uh, team. And uh, see where we go from there. Oh, look at that. Not sure why my hair's got holes in it here, but that's fine. So we're the new manager now of Lazio. Now we've got to keep an eye on that... Uh, Big derby with uh, Roma. Hopefully uh, have a look at Topoli and Juventus. And uh, yeah, see what we've got. I know we've got a few decent forwards. Very, very good midfield. And mm, questionable ageing defence. So maybe that's one of the things we'll look at. Andreas Pereira. I'm sure that's a delight for all the Man U fans seeing him there. And not, uh, not in their shirt from what I've heard from uh, some of my friends. So... Let's get into that next screen. They're looking for Champions League. Um, oh, oh, jeez. Uh, win the Serie A next season. That is very ambitious, and I feel like I might be sacked. So, see if someone can uh, lose their job within two weeks. We'll get all these on the first day. Just get them out of the way, shall we? Have a little look through them. Uh, if there's anything interesting that we see, um, we'll have a look at it. Um, main thing I'm looking at doing today is uh, having a look at it's my ball. having a look at um, the squad really probably not going to squeeze in an episode today it's more just an introduction see who we're going to get um, have a look at some tactics and I'll look at reconvening with yourselves um, when we've got uh, that first few games of the season so that'll be, uh, it'll be good to have a look at then so, again, this save time is supposed to be amazing. I don't want to. I don't want to go too heavy on the tactics. Uh, not tactics. The features because they've been in the game for what, almost a week now, and there's been a lot of people that have already pushed them. So, you're probably not going to learn anything new from myself. Um, is there any players that we've got? Nicolo Armini. Definitely have a look at offering him a contract. Um, there's nothing there that seems unreasonable. I like to put on a yearly wage rise, make sure it's only 5%, lock that in, get rid of any structured or like fixed wage rises, we'll lock that down to 8, see if he accepts, 8 and I feel accept, we'll all move on, happy days, cracking. Right, introduction, what have we got, create a tactic, Let's see what we've got, this is very negative. Uh, I might just completely wing it and make my own thing here and just hope it works. Let's go 4-3-3. Three, three. Good old trusted. 
we'll make him an advance forward. I'll have a look who we've got. So, Strakosha is very good. Pepe Reina, obviously at Villa last year. Hero. Did just enough to keep us up. Amazing video of him nearly ripping his shorts off his legs. If you haven't seen it, you should go uh, go and have a look at that. Uh, let's get Strakosha in there. So, right back we've got uh, probably Patrick I'll have a look at there, straight off the bat. Bizarre... Why does it do this? Looking like a lot of players that are very familiar, very similar to one another, really. So we haven't really got uh, a standout right back there, so that's incredibly helpful. Um, what are their uh, these defend? Do you know what? Let's get Lazari in. He's a bit more uh, offensive from what I can tell. So we'll go for that. I kind of like that we've lost the familiarity thing, so you're not bound too much by this wheel. And it's just how good the player is in that specific position. I like that. Um, again, Radu, what is in his 50s now? Close enough. Senad Lulic also. Jesus, these old men, these are. Get on a nice young left back. I wonder if that fell up at my axe is still knocking about. I honestly can't remember. A Cherby, what is he, 50? Oh, Jesus. Got to get him in there, he's fantastic. So what's your role then? Uh, everything. Cool, I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, Wesley Hoyt. I'm loan from Southampton's never a good sign. Felipe. Why is this like this? Yeah, let's get someone young in the middle. Got to have someone. Dennis Bafra is quite young as well, if I remember rightly. Has no potential whatsoever, which is helpful. Right, so that's that. Uh, holding mid. I think I want a box to box here, and I think we know who it's going to be, don't we? Good old SMS, as uh, as Ben liked last year. We'll get Louise up here as the creative player. And I think, if I remember rightly, we've still got a uh, old Liverpool player here. There he is. You can go around and sweep up all the mess that everyone else leaves behind because you like them are also in your forties, which is incredibly helpful. Wingers, no one whatsoever. Literally no flair or pace or excitement in this team whatsoever. Absolutely over the moon with that. I am sorry, Chiro. You are definitely not being a Pressing forward, mate. Wow, that uh, that's something. Got a lot of work to do here. <laughs> Felipe Quesado, what have we got here? Thirty-one. Is there anyone in this team that isn't geriatric? Right, let's have a look what we've got. I need to download another uh, thingy there. Uh, so if we go back to reports, am I still seeing their age? Yes. So, one. One good young player. Oof. He's been... Why am I thinking that Strakosha was in his 40s? Oh, I've lost that as well. That's annoying. I'll have to sort that out by the next episode. So yeah, what we'll do, we'll... Um, Look into this. I'll have another little look and probably a bit more of a breakdown as to how old my team are. Parolo's 35. Horrific. Um, yeah, really. Um, just going into that. I can't bother to look at that any further. We've already looked at it. Training course. Where are we? Italy. Oh, yeah, of course. No one could go anywhere. <laughs> Scratch that. Surprise they're allowed anywhere in Italy. Horrific over there. Um, don't need to go through these inductions, really. We'll have a look in the scouting centre, just see if there's anything that they've seen. Um, maybe have a little look in towards... Ooh, money. Money, money, money. How can I forget that? It's the root of all evil, and mostly the reason why we're going to be bankrupt in about six months. Again, Italian football is probably not, uh, it's not unexpected. 
So, yeah, as I say, I'm going to have a look through this, see what I can do, maybe get out some of these older players, um, bring in a bit of youth, people that can run for more than 10 minutes without having to get uh, seen to by a physio. Um, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, a bit of excitement here, what's it? That's, that's not great, is it? Oh, do you know what we do need to do? I have a problem. I've addressed this, but he is, uh, he's my boy. I've signed him on almost every save last year, so we'll have a little scout of him. See if he can carry through to this year. Um, other than that, I'm not really looking to search for players. Don't particularly want to use um, any of the attribute sort of searches either. Um, I like it to kind of be a bit authentic. Not quite as bad as what Kev does in the fact that he doesn't search outside of his um, scouted players already. I might have a little look here and there on the... Um, Transfer listed players, loan listed players, maybe even the players that are out of contract. I do know there is a uh, certain Italian goalkeeper that's out of contract. Who it could be worth keeping an eye on, but uh, a there's no uh, there's no real rush to get him in. Uh, I'm not sure I'll be able to afford it, and really I'm not sure whether he'll come. But uh, as I say, we'll see. We'll see what we've got, and I'll see you for that first game of the season. Both of them. Um, which are not wanting to go by the fast click. Parma and Spezia. Oh, so we didn't easy. Do have a little soft spot for them. Fantastic away kit. Have a little look at it. 103 euros. It's not going to be in my wardrobe anytime soon. Um, yeah, how are we uh, how are we due to finish as well? That is that is not what we want to say. So hopefully we're uh, where we are before that. Uh, final month um, and we've got our first derby against Roma at the end of October as well we'll say it's a way but we both play in the same stadium so it doesn't necessarily matter too much I've always thought um, and on a side note not sure why Inter and AC call their stadium different things when it's the same building but again it's, it's Italy you just learn not to question things yeah, I think I think I'll look at wrapping that up there. Um, more just an introduction to me, uh, the series, and the team. Um, I've got a nice little bit of money to work with there. Um, not sure if anyone's wanted. There's quite a few players that are wanted. Ooh, Real Madrid. Might be able to get a little bit of him. Not sure I want to sell him, to be honest. Um, and I'll, I'll meet you then. When, when does our transfer window close? It's probably an easier way to do this. But uh, let's have a little look, shall we? And uh, it's not quite wide. <laughs> Struggling. Help. There we go, calendar. So, transfer window is due to close on the 1st of September. Oh, no, it's, I'm an idiot. It opens on the 1st of September and we close in on the 5th of October. Is that, yeah. So it's similar to the... Uh, Premier League one there. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll have a little look into that. Um, got a good few weeks till the window opens, and then just say it goes over a little bit later than expected, but again, we've got a late start time. We'll uh, get into it. We'll be back with yourself when I've got this next video out, hopefully following day. Um, I mean, currently, I haven't even got a channel name, really. Uh, I've got an idea of what I want it to be. Is one of the hardest things for me to think of. Um, I'm also working from my trackpad and keyboard on my laptop, so it's a little bit clunky at the moment. I am waiting on a delivery, which Amazon said was eight stops away about nine hours ago, so I feel that they've lied to me there, but it is what it is. I've ordered a new one now, cancelled that delivery, and uh, hopefully we'll have things running smoother in the next few episodes, but uh, it's been nice it's been nice having your company, even though you're not physically here, but we'll... Uh, We'll see what happens and hopefully this is the start of a wonderful adventure.